We got a de-peg, we're looking for a re-peg, and Silicon Valley Bank just got pegged by the feds. How does this all affect the price of gold and silver? Let's strap on it and find out in today's video. What's up fam, welcome back to the channel, and hey, before we get into this, I just want to reiterate that none of this is financial advice. I would encourage each and every one of you to do your own research on crypto, precious metals, and the banking system as there are some very complex things going on here. So the USDC DPEG from the dollar is one of the most significant events to happen in the crypto space in quite some time. And this is really because USDC is considered to be the stablest of all stable coins. Circle, who issues USDC, has done a tremendous job in being transparent around the very liquid and very stable asset pool that currently backs US dollar coin. Circle even guarantees through their website that you can exchange your USD coin for US dollars on a one-for-one -one basis whenever you want. And as far as I know, Circle has always made good on this promise. None of this means that Circle is perfect or flawless or can never make a mistake. My only point here is these are the reasons that USDC has been so trusted amongst crypto enthusiasts as a stable coin. A lot of other stable coins over the last couple of years have had a really bumpy road. Some, which purport to be backed by assets, are being questioned for not being transparent enough, while there have been other algorithmic stablecoins that have just crashed and burned and lost people a lot of money. And again, you have to understand, stablecoins are a place where people who hold crypto put their money for stability. If you have a stablecoin that says it's always going to be worth a dollar, you want to make sure it's always going to be worth a dollar. So the trouble for USDC began with the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank when Circle revealed that they had $3.3 billion of backing assets deposited in Silicon Valley Bank, which they can no longer access. This caused a huge panic amongst crypto holders and dropped the price of USDC as low as 87 cents on Saturday, March 11th. Now, was some of this an overreaction? Possibly. Circle has done a very good job about being transparent and forthcoming during the situation. And they pointed out that even though $3.3 billion is a lot of money, it only represents maybe about 8% of the backing for USDC. Now they came out with a blog post that said, hey, look, on Monday when the banking system opens again, you can exchange your USDC one for one with US dollars. We're going to back it. We're going to take care of this. You know, so far, so good. Nothing that they seem to be saying or doing would on the surface make anyone lose confidence in the backing of their USDC. And I do think that this is going to be a really nice test of USDC. Am I going to participate in that test? Absolutely not. With all of the fraud surrounding so many other crypto banks in the last year, I think people are just tired. Crypto holders are just tired of taking someone at their word and hoping for the best. And this is not an indictment of Circle. I hope this all goes well. I really, really do. Because I had a tremendous amount of confidence in USDC. But at this point, I have to bow out and put my crypto elsewhere simply because it just seems too risky. So as I watch yet another potential crypto crisis unfold, I have thought, does this benefit gold and silver in any way? And I think the answers are resounding yes. If we look at Bitcoin and the broader crypto space and why Bitcoin was originally created, it was meant to be a stored value that is also decentralized and has limited supply. And that's exactly what gold and silver are. So I'm hoping that the generation of people that haven't really paid much attention to precious metals, but believe in all of those things, will give gold and silver another look, or perhaps a first look. Certainly, I'm not suggesting that anyone who has crypto should go out and sell all of it and buy gold and silver. Not at all. I am saying that gold and silver and Bitcoin really probably have a lot more in common than you think. So if you're a crypto holder who's never really thought about purchasing precious metals, it might be worth a second look. So if you've got USDC in your wallet, I sincerely hope this works out for you. And I'd love to hear from you. So drop a comment below and let me know what you're doing, what your plan is. Did you already sell? Or are you going to hold on to it? I don't know if I was right for getting rid of mine, but I'm just a little spooked right now is all. And honestly, if you like the video, please give us a like, please subscribe to the channel. We will have more videos about gold, silver, and crypto in the future. Have a great one, everyone.